Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Grave Titan. This is another modern cube draft we're doing here on Magic Online. Go to patreon.com slash franklapore and check out patreon.com slash franklapore. If you guys want to subscribe but you can't afford the $5 a month for Twitch, or maybe if you don't even have a Twitch account and you just watch on YouTube, definitely head on over. You can donate $1 or $2 a month, which is nothing. And it's a great way to show support for if, if you guys are regular enjoying the YouTube content. I really, really appreciate it. Um, we have not done thick green yet. But I don't really like any of the green cards. Like Vivian Reed and Lotus Cobra are not on par with Grave Titan, I don't think. So I'm just going to take the Grave Titan because I think it's the strongest card in this pack. Don't mind me, sorry. Um... I do like a thick green deck. But see, then we get this pack and we're like, Llanowar Elves? Maybe it's just Llanowar Elves anyway. What if we mono black it? What if we take this Drolf's Messenger and we hope to get a... Uh... We just hope to get this. Mono black seems open. Messenger, please. All right, we'll take it. We'll Messenger. Uh, Nighthawk seems better than Regisar. I like Regisar for, like, reanimating, but I guess we'll just take Nighthawk. In a completely, like, modern, fair format. I actually like Vampire Nighthawk. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is my favorite Soren, and I don't mind drafting Black-White. I think it's so, it's head and shoulders above Kite Self-Rebooter. I, I could see us taking Fatal Push, but this Soren is just insane. Civilization. I'll stay right here. It is it also knees and toes? It's heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Above Freebooter. Also, Freebooter sounds mildly sexual. Like, hey man, I heard you were Freebooter. And then that dude's like, nah, man, not since college. That was a different time then. I don't, what, what more do I need to say? All I need is a gray merchant, and we're in we're in business. Bring on the pips. Oh, I, I actually love Yawgmoth. I think it's so good, especially if we can get a Bitter Blossom or an Ophiomancer. I like Elspeth too, but with only one, one white source that's six mana, I think we can actually splash that pretty easily. Oh, Yawgmoth with Messenger? <gasps> That's infinite. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right? Okay, you pay a life and sacrifice. I'll sack this guy. Uh, no, because you'd have to target it, right? It's still very good, right? Like, you'd have to have other creatures. I like Tribunal a lot. It helps us deal with things, but I'm just going to go with the Aetherborn and assume that we can mono black this thing.
Liliana and Underworld connections is just worse than... I wonder if Immortal Sun is good. Like, we can actually just cut the Soren and play Immortal Sun. I also don't mind Underworld connections. How did the mono blue go? 3-0, my dude. I don't love Lil... <sighs> She's not bad, I guess. Knight's Whisper? Oh yeah, we're Knight's Whispering for sure. Nothing in this pack? Oh, well, Lingering Souls. Again, if we're splashing for lightly splashing... Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. If we're lightly splashing white for these, like... I'm good to go. Oh wow, the two black cards in this pack came back. That's nuts. I think I like Freebooter better. Court... Come on. I like Freebooter better because this is Freebooter better. I like Freebooter better. better, better. Um, the reason being that this can really disrupt decks with certain strategies. Um, Fatal Push is just a removal spell, and like a lot of times you can just get a. Just get a. It's fine. What about Fritters? <laughs> What's he saying? We did it, boys. Bitter McBlossoms. You like what better? I didn't quite. Uh, Freebooter. I like Freebooter better. I'm going to take Bitter Blossom because we already have Yogmoth. <laughs> oh, man. This this clip is so good. Or Ogle, Ogle the Bogle. Or Ogle, ogle the boggle or go goggle the bo it's it's goggle this isn't google the boogle boggle bo oh fuck god <laughs> i'm done i'm done <laughs> this clip gets done. me every time because it was so natural like i literally was actually losing my shit over that clip oh yeah we'll take a liliana i hope this kaya's gyre returns but considering that like I don't love this Soren. Did you take Liliana's mastery? We're not super zombie heavy though. This guy's a vampire. This guy's a shaman. They're both vampires actually. I do like Pluto Delta because it's like basically just another godless shrine. Yeah, I think it's Pluto Delta. I think Liliana's master. Actually, Phyrexian Metamorph is real good. It makes me cry every time I watch it. Like I'm just watching it and I'm like, yeah, I literally had no idea what I was doing. Because it's so naturally, like, I'm so naturally, naturally stutter, stuttering there, and it's, like, mind-blowing to me. This card's good, but, like, there's we, there's not that many Planeswalkers that I'm concerned with. I think it's just Metamorph. Like, any other Black Fetch land's gonna be just as good, but Metamorph is, like, really hard to replace. Anguished Unmaking is nice. I don't think we're Dark Confidant. Have you used the Speech Jammer? It sounded like that. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I think it's just Collective Brutality. Thoughtseize? Yeah. I hope the Skin Runner comes back, but I'll take a Thoughtseize for sure. Let's get this. Tectonic Edge isn't even terrible. Civilization. Belschnickel. Well, there's really nothing else in this pack but a Belschnickel. Everflowing Chalice doesn't seem great. The black deck has a lot of color requirements. But I am liking the way this deck looks a lot. I have a chili cooking in the crock pot and I just brewed up some coffee. My kitchen smells... What is that? Is that some chili coffee? It is. 
Doom Blade. I think it's actually just Doom Blade. Civilization. I don't like Sunry Titan. Mere Battle Sphere could be an option, actually. It's a nice top end, but we don't actually have that much removal, so I'll just take the Doom Blade and be happy with it. Doom Whisperer seems very good. We don't have any five drops. Journey to Nowhere seems okay. Power two or less. Could get Nighthawk, Liliana. Could get Yogmoth. Yogmoths and Nighthawks. This guy, this guy. Get Metamorph. Hmm, maybe we want a Revel Arc. Kaya's Guile did come back. Pretty solid sideboard card. Could just be a main deck card. Liliana's Mastery did come back as well. Mr. $10 Bill, been out of commission during streaming times. Glad to catch you. Thank, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Eh. Skin Render did come back. Okay. And the Graveborn Muse, the last pick of Graveborn Muse comes back. That's gas. Ice Wrath was actually a card that I didn't think I would be impressed with, but I'm actually kind of impressed with it. Are we a Nykthos deck? My problem is with Knight's Whisperer and Bitter Blossom. I don't want to be losing too much life, but on the other hand, like we do have Liliana has Life Link, Vampire Nighthawk, and Gifted Aid that won't have Life Link. Also, this guy requires life. This guy requires life. I think it might be Doomfall, but we already have Kaisa Freebooter and Thoughtseize. I think it's actually Isereth. I think this card is actually good. Okay, Liliana's good too. So is Murderous Cut and... How many cards do we have to discard though? I really like Liliana in decks where you have like things to discard, but I think this is still fine. Yeah, I just don't think, I think Nykthos is probably gonna come back. I, I think we're just taking the Liliana here. I think even if they're, I think it's just still the best card in the pack. Raska's Contempt and an Elspeth. I was hoping this was an Orzov Signet. That's unfortunate. <sighs> yeah, I don't think Raska's Contempt is close. The Elspeth's amazing, but I'm not going to try to have double white in this deck. I think Soren and Revelark and Lingering Souls are pushing it. Matt, what's going on, buddy? Oh, there's an Orzhov Signet. Speak of, speak of the devil. That's nice. That's a little treat. Wow, that's actually perfect. What are the odds of that? Well, apparently fairly high. Hello. Oh, look at that. Look at that dude. Oh, boy. Last two picks, Orzhov Signet and Grey Merchant. Down to Clown. 
God, I want this isolated chapel, but I also really like unburial rights. Come on, dude. Gary. I think it's I think it's isolated chapel to be to be fair. Unbarrel rights being able to get back all of these things though. Oh, we also have Revel Arc to get back uh to get back Grey Merchant though, so that's kind of like a Ultimate Price and Tide Hollow Skull are also a Karn. We have multiple infinite combos? What, what are the infinite combos? Tell me about the infinite combos. I want to take the ultimate price. I think it's better than Doomblade in the main deck. What are we cutting here? Copy with more of Sacred to get itself back. Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. But... Yeah, I'm gonna take a mastery. I don't think we're I don't think we're super zombie heavy. Well, actually, maybe we are. God, this guy's a human cleric, right? Yeah, all right. So you're a, you're a zombo. I want to take out this Liliana. To be quite honest, I don't think she's that great. I hate to say it. You guys are gonna Gonti and a shambling vent. So we're literally just getting all of the lands except for uh, marsh flats, right? We have Godless Shrine, Isolated Chapel, and Concealed Courtyard. I don't think we need another four drop. I want to be honest, even though Gonti is great, I think I'd rather just have no. I'd rather just have the fixing. I don't, this is the terrible sword. There's a Nick though. So okay. Well, this deck is pretty much done. We have to make one cut. I don't think it's skin. Oh, that's probably Icerath actually. Wow, Murderous Cut came back? And the Midnight Reaper and the Duplicant. Okay, well. I'm just gonna take Cut here. I'll take this guy because it's oh, in our colors. We're gonna cut the Icerath. Duress seems great. I'm actually not a huge Kite Self Rebooter fan in the main deck. And we can just play the Murderous Cut, I guess. Finale of Eternity. Okay, that's a late Renin 6, but I guess it's two colors, so. This is a weird Grixis cube. Look at all these white cards in there. Uh, sure. Wow, last pick Tide Hollow Skuller? I would play this guy over Kitesail Freebooter anyway, so. Wow. Our deck looks pretty good. So with four black white lands and also an Orzhov signet, mm -hmm. I feel like that's actually enough sources. I might just want one in case they path to exile it. But the problem is like you don't you never want to draw that planes as like your one basic like when you have Phyrexian Obliterator on deck. Like our sideboard is amazing. We have Kai's Guile, Liliana, Collector Brutality, Duress, Kite Sail, and Tide Hollow Sculler. There's always a part of me that's like, let me put this, 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 and this in the deck so we can just strip their hand away. Make their life miserable. But I think it's fine without. Yeah, I almost like 11 1. I mean, this is like 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 16 sources of black and 5 sources of white. That yeah, seems just fine. There's also 16 lands. Why would it why would it do that? So now it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16. Yeah, it's still 16. The only source of non-black mana is the one planes. Better Blossom Knights Whisper ultimate price gifted either more or off signet. All those are good lingering Liliana. Liliana, Vampire Nighthawk, Drops Messenger, Metamorph, Obliterator, Yawgmoth. Yeah, this deck looks sweet. Let's 
civilization. Here's, the, here's that one planes. This hand is still keepable. I mean, we can't draw some messenger yet, but... I look sweet. Man, they sure took a long time to, to not mulligan. T tease. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got so excited about this. I think it's because it lets us cast Messenger now if we want to. Use planes to filter through here. But we can also just cast Liliana. So, oh my god. Liliana's actually insane on the... Oh my god. Absolute troll city. Liliana is insane with Bitter Blossom. They're just like, make a guy. I'm like, kill your guy. Make a guy. Kill your guy. They take one. Uh, I do have a cube IRL. It's a it's a watered down, not watered down, but it's a it's a version of the vintage cube on Magic Online, uh, but cut down to like 360 cards so that you draft all the cards every time. Big O Blitz. They're going to take two a turn? That's brutal, man. They're basically dead. I don't even know how they come back from this one. Don't do anything. That's nah, fine. I mean, if we hit a land, we get to play Grave Titan. That's pretty nuts, right? Why does this dude have trample? That's my question. This guy need trample? Probably not. Kill this thing. Let's rend the skin. And they're just going to draw too many cards. I was thinking of slapping together the Corset Cube they did a while back. Uh, the Corset Cube was actually surprisingly good. You expect it because it's all Corsets that it's just going to kind of be like the dirtily cards, but this it's actually the good cards from Corsets, and uh, it's totally fine. I was impressed. I also think, as far as cubes go, it's probably pretty easy to build. I mean, because the cards wouldn't be extremely overpriced, but I, I, had a, I had a great time with it, and I would totally recommend it. That doesn't do anything, unfortunately. Hmm. I mean, we can't play this. We can play Revel Arc, but it's just... Like, we can actually... We can play Revs. There's no way they take through. They're probably just blocking with Gifted Aetherborn, which is fine. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, this is pretty brutal. So they have no pressure for Liliana. We either get to ultimate Liliana. They go to six here. Yep, that would be the yeah hero hero escape hero escaper guy. That would be the uh, that would be the Corsiki. Was this the mono black mirror match? Like this is kind of comical. Like we're basically mono black and they're mono black, and it's just like wow. Artifacts aren't considered mono colored. No, because our yeah no artifacts aren't colored. Exactly what Chris said. Unless it's like a Phyrexian metamorph that hasn't copied something. I think they're going to make a 2-2 here. Because they're at 6. Yeah. I feel like we just ultimate Liliana here. Does that sound right? I mean, I'm no expert, but... I am going to hit your face. Uh yeah. Liliana emblem. My man. Also we had a we have a zombie, so we get three zombies. Yeah, that seems pretty unbeatable. Plus you have a bitter blossom in an arena. In terms of in terms of uh card advantage, they have a re they have an a an, an embarrassment of riches here, but you can have a swamp. Yeah, you win if you uptick. You know what else? You win if you don't uptick too. So, <laughs> I mean, you win both ways. One of the ways lets you do a cooler thing, though, that you have uh, less chance of doing. So that's what I went for. Oh, God. Mask of Worm. Oh, God. Languish. Yeah, that's fine. Fascinating. I guess we'll just get rid of Revel Arc. Actually, I guess we can cast Revel Arc. This is going to be hilarious if they end up recovering. I mean, they go to two. Yeah, let's get rid of Revelark. The upside on um the upside on Grave Titan is significantly higher. Especially because we're gonna get two zombies, so we're gonna make four zombies instead of two. Land. Braska's contempt. We're going to roll Liliana because I don't want to discard the Grave Titan. And there's no way we're not using this. I don't even know the Kombucha Girl meme. Alright, so they go to two. Do you guys hear Hunter dreaming in the background? Hunter's having a little dream. What's a Grey Merchant going to hit for? One, two, three, four, five? Yeah, that's fine. They go to seven. Uh, 
Uh, Liliana's Red Horde General or Hex Mage? You can have Hex Mage. Oh, we just won the game. All right, that'll do. We would have drawn this, played this, made one, two, three, six, six zombies. Yeah, that seems good. You can see why Doomblade, not ideal. Is this instant or sorcery? Yeah, all right, I'll just take duress. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Sacrifice creature, no. Make a 1 1, no. Gain 4. Exile graveyard, no. Okay. Let's bring in Icereth and cut Revelar, because they were doing similar things, but Icereth actually just like can bring back obliterators and things. I'm actually tempted to go 41 here. I think it's fine. I'm googling this meme because I'm not even familiar with it. Huh. I have seen that meme so little. I think I've seen that meme like once and I didn't know it became a full-fledged meme. I'm going to keep this hand. You know what? I'm a, I'm a gambler. I'm a real I'm a real degenerate. Okay, I'm going to open this video and I'm going to watch it in a second. Actually, I'll just watch it now. You know what? No. Well. <laughs> okay, that's actually fantastic. Why does it only have 21,000 views? That can't be the original, right? That's hilarious. That's actually very funny. The, the, wow, the emotional roller coaster I just feel like I was on is just fantastic. <laughs> Well, oh, well, that's good. Oh, we do need lands here because just your two four drop three lands in a row. I'm just totally fine with it. Oh God, Phyrexian Arena is such a beating. Oh my God, is this combo? Do we get to just go off here? Oh god, we just have to survive. Oh god, we just have to survive. Walking on the razor's edge. God, let me draw land and let them tap out for something dumb. I believe. That's dumb. Okay. One time. Land. Land, 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 land. I think we just win. I think we infinite combo here. Uh, put a negative one counter on a creature...
Okay, so this one has a counter on it. So we're going to put a negative one counter on this guy. Sacrifice this guy. Now this guy has a counter on it, so we're going to put a counter on this guy. And sacrifice this guy. Now we're going to put a counter on this guy. Sacrifice this guy. Copy him again. Now this guy has a counter, so we'll put a counter on this guy, sacrifice this guy, and put a counter on this gentleman, sacrifice, and kill you. <laughs> Messenger Phyrexian Metamorph Yawgmoth, ladies and gentlemen. Messenger... Phyrexian Metamorph and the Ogmoth. That's how you do it. That's how you live the dream. That's how you do it. Did you guys, did you guys, we also drew like 15 cards. I don't know if you guys knew that. That was amazing. That was incredible. Wow. 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 Sam <laughs> Wow 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 Yeah I was like this is an infinite combo right this just kills them Uh good games Oh see and then we get this hand and we're like dang it Oh this hand's good though We can send back Grave Titan I guess I'm happy I died. Dude, I didn't think we were ever going to do that. That was amazing to me. I was like, oh my god, is this real? We have the Thrawn, Dross Messenger, Double Dross Messenger. Whew. Oh yeah, today we've 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 infinite comboed with Yogmoth. Uh and then we also earlier Nimble Obstructionist to fetch land. So Man. Today was a hell of a day. These have been some, some, some good old, good old Cuban times. Some, if you know what I mean. Whatever that means. Oh yeah, Sam. Did you have what was your what was your what was your copy? It had to be. Was it? Was it? Phantasmal image. Couldn't be phantasmal image, right? Had to be. Could you say more or less? So I'm just curious. Land. No land. That's cool. I didn't. I don't have two really good three drops that are that are game changing. Once we get them down, that's fine. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get that anyway. It's fine. I don't care what lands. Got him. Cuban Times, like cigars. Yeah, haven't you, Chris? Are you, are you not subscribed to my magazine, Cuban Times? It's all about the uh, the burgeoning Ebor cigar trade. Ebor is being a city in Tampa. A city in Tampa? A uh, what would you call that? A district? Maybe. They call it Ebor City, but it's not like it's in Tampa. Like, everybody knows it's in Tampa. I think we're just going to drop Nighthawk instead of Lily number two. Because Nighthawk is more protective. He's got more of a protective spirit to him, you know? Look at all these, look at all these death touch and life linking creatures I have here. Gravecrawler plus Messenger. Oh yeah, because you can keep sacking the Gravecrawler to, uh, the only problem with that is the mana restriction, but... In my druggin' days, don't recommend... Oh god, what the shit is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. 
I say you just neg three and I'm dead. Well, we had a good time. I, I was a that we had a fair and balanced game of magic up until now, I guess. And then they just lightning bolt this Liliana. Yeah, I just kind of want to concede to be honest, but like we have Vraska's contempt for this. We're just gonna pass here. I'm not gonna just throw a card away. I'd rather just take the lightning bolt. They're gonna they're gonna plus two it anyway, so. Sam, good luck on the coverage this weekend, man. That's awesome. Oh, it's just a... Oh, the Teferi and an Ugin, huh? Well, that's a reasonable series of... <laughs> um, excuse me, I have a counter spell mana, you see. Scoop if they counter Contempt, though. Yeah, yeah. so if I if I go to Vraska's Contempt and they counter it, I'll, I'll scoop. I'll give them that. Uh, I think also casting Teferi is probably where I draw the line, I think. So, um, Duress can come in again, because that's a good card. I kind of like Liliana the Veil against this deck. Take out a Skin Render. Take out... Maybe even Murderous Cut? I don't know. I right, was we'll just Smith. Yeah, that one. That'll be just fine. Hey guys, look, it's that one planes again. When we have Obliterator and Gifted Aetherborn in hand. I'm gonna keep it. I don't feel great about it, but... Jiraga Tree Speaker? Yeah, that's probably your... It's probably your best one. That's your best boy. I think we're losing this game, guys. I'm not thrilled about it. Forest Arbor Elf. Yep. This is how we die. Jade Light Ranger. Just get a 4-3 and leave that dude on top. Yep. Hey, that's pretty good. All right. Why doesn't she have death touch like her brother? No blocks. Glacial coming down. Doom whisper, huh? Okay. Well, now they get to play Teferi, which is really, uh, something. <laughs> See? Was that little Ben Harper? Fight the break of dawn. Come tomorrow. Yeah, this is rough. I feel like we got mana screwed both games, really, so that's cool. Wait, they didn't Teferi here? Oh, they only have four mana, not five. Never mind. Uh, 
All right, so we know they have this guy, and then you know whatever else they got. I'll block. Just let's go. Let's get. Let's go. Bring it. Oh, look, it's another, another six drop. That's cool. I'll just pass here. Eagle Eye Cherry. It is Eagle Eye Cherry, not Ben Harper. Who's Ben Harper? Ben Harper's always have to steal my kisses from you, isn't it? That's right. Always have to steal my kisses from you. Is Ben Harper from Ybor City? Yeah, that's Ben Harper. Nailed it. I mean, you can't win them all, guys. Sometimes, sometimes you infinite combo with your with your sweet Yogmoth, and then uh, then your opponent just gets to play other Planeswalkers because your 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 removal spells in your hand that kill Planeswalkers just you can't cast them because uh, your opponent doesn't let you draw lands. Thanks a lot, opponent. Kill this guy. Got him. I was also hoping for another 3-0. Because I think our deck is capable of it. Problem being, here we are. It must be 10 years since I've slain a Ben Harbor. Yeah, you and everybody else, buddy. You and everybody else. You are not alone. Oh, man. So I was going to make this you are not alone joke in terms of, like, listening to Ben Harper for 10 years. But then I had to sing Michael Jackson to do it, and I was like, it ain't worth it. Ben Harper hasn't even listened to Ben Harper in 10 years. <laughs> oh. Yeah, these drafts have gone very, very well. Uh, this is probably some of the funner decks I've, I've built on the in the Modern Cube so far. And by that, I mean this is my second and third draft. So, yeah, okay, that's... Yeah, now, now you're just showing off. Yeah, just draw five. Total, uh... Look, so it's okay, guys. They've only drawn nine extra cards than us. It's totally normal. Did see he's going away, but yeah, he just couldn't keep up with the digital era. Oh, look, it's still not... It's not only... Not, <laughs> not only is it not a land, it's the one card in the deck that we can't cast that costs three or less. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> That's incredible. All right, let's just go to the next round, guys. I, uh, look, here it goes. Hey, here's a swamp. Does, were you looking for this, stupid? You know, I was. You know, I was looking for that. Thank you, Magic Online. God, that planes, dude. Mm, yeah, all right. I like it. Messenger into Graveborn Muse is a, is a real thing. Super Fritz, what's going on, buddy? Stream is currently offline. <laughs> Feels good, MTG bot. Feels good. How's the uh, Pepper Jack and Meatball uh, business? Pretty good? I wish I had a two drop there, but alas, it's not meant to be. Always have to steal my kisses from you. Let's go. It's super mayo filled gross. You were right building the deck. You shouldn't have added that planes. I know. It's like that's what I said. Like it's gonna be. It's gonna be awkward when the situation comes up. 
where it's your third land when you want to cast a messenger or your fourth land when you want to cast an obliterator and it definitely happened oh yeah we're going to graveborn muse here and then we're going to just draw two every single turn for the rest of our lives one two, three. come in to play tapped that's fine any chance we can do my standard deck today I actually had some errands to run after this can we do it tomorrow is tomorrow an option I was planning on tomorrow but I might be able to tomorrow's good okay sweet super fritz do you have a specific time that works better for you tomorrow is never an option ben or uh, john because you're saying that i feel like that's from something okay we get to draw three cards here which is pretty nuts Just go to a seaside bar, open mic night here in New England. Wow. They love they love this Ben Harper shit. Oh good. Ultimate price is what I wanted to kill this guy, so everybody wins. Oh, and murderous cut's good too, I guess. Hugh, 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 hugh. Uh we can also yog moth. Is this counter? It's put a counter on it? Oh geez, that's real good, man. Nice. Super Fritz, good to hear it, buddy. Good to hear it. I'm really glad these are spirits and not zombies. Um, I think we kill the Brimaz. It just seems like a better dude. Always have to steal my... Now I have this stupid Ben Harper song stuck in my head. I blame Matt because he actually he started singing Eli Cherry instead. And I thought it was Ben Harper. So it's basically his fault because I got him confused. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Should have been in the house. Oh lord, we have a good time. We have a good time. Let us both draw. Because I'm drawing three a turn anyway, so... Well, whatever, that was rude, but... So you only have a white up, so I can just literally... Draw like 15 cards a turn. <sighs> Holy shit. They're just dead, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven life. Let's just kill Jace. Believe it or not, I'm walking on it. I never thought I could. I'm just, I'm just waiting for like the the terminus or something or the wrath of God, and then it's gonna be like, well, that sucks. But our grip is good. Mm, yeah, that's fine. Not ideal, but fine. What are you bouncing? I'll bounce one spirit token, you see. Really? Not the Graveborn Muse that's drawing me like three cards a turn, man? Come on. Computer build's actually going well. Uh, the, the only problem I had was the actual electricity in the house wasn't grounded. So it was really fucking everything up. And I kept getting shocked whenever I touched anything metal. But since the electrician came, it has not been an issue. And uh, so I'm kind of grateful for that. One, two, three, four. Let's play Skin Renderer. Kill this guy, because this guy's a real pain in my butt. Uh, flashback these gentlemen. Play this thing. And then we'll probably just kill you next turn. I mean, we will. You'll be dead next turn. Like, we've drawn like an extra six nine cards off of this thing I mean even if they like Terminus like I think we're still fine we had lethal 
With Yawgmoth? Oh, because we have so many creatures that we can just, like, put a counter on this. Oh, yeah, for sure we did. Yeah, that's a, we should we for sure did. You are correct. I feel like this duress just keeps coming in. It's just very, very good. Who could it be? Believe it or not. It's just me. All right, so Phyrexian Metamorph goes here. Doomblade actually does seem good. They have a bunch of... It's going to hit almost everything, I imagine. They can take Murderous Cutout. I do like Liliana here. I think we're fine like this, though. I don't want to go 12 creatures. Mm. Yeah, this seems fine. Yep, this seems good. Messenger into Greyborn Muse again could be very, very good. We do need two more land. One more land. We need one more land. We can also go turn three Greyborn Muse and then just play Messenger after that, but whatever. They mulled to four? Six? Yeah, they molded to six and they played. We did it. Swamp it up. And we have our white source. Oh, yes. It's all coming together. All right, so next time we go Greyborn Muse, maybe we go Doom Whisper. I don't know. It depends on how many cards we want to draw, I guess. <laughs> duress to impress. That's what they say. They do. You should duress for the job you want, not for the job you have. That's a little duress. That's a little discard humor, guys. I don't know if you guys are familiar. Um, well, that's annoying, but... I hope they realized the folly of their ways last game by letting this live, but I don't think they did, so we're probably just going to draw 15 cards. Not great, Bob. Yikes. Yikes. Skin render one time. Give me that skin render. I need to rend some skin. That's not it. Uh, that's that's good, but... Actually, well, is this? Four, five, six? Yikes. I guess next turn we'll have Soren. Oh, this guy's gonna come and play tapped, isn't he? Oh, that's bad. Um, We don't actually have to tap that. I don't know I'm tapping it. I guess because it's like, well, we'll get rid of it. Yeah, Thalia's rough. Like, we can soar our next turn and kill this for three, which is nice. And then they just have ground guys. Now we have the Phyrexian Blitter to block the Thalia. Seven? Yeah, that's pretty good. Three? That's pretty rough. Oof. Oh, Lord. And if they have a counter for this, we're just dead. Straight up dead. George is getting upset. Believe it or not, George isn't at home. Please leave a message. 
at the beep. Do they all get it? Oh boy. Okay, well, yeah, okay. Well, you see, that was a good game. I kind of want Finale, actually. Finale seems good here. Why don't I have Finale in the deck? Take out the, take out this idiot. Collective Brutality actually takes out, take out the Night's Whisper. We have a, <clears throat> all right, let's do it. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. I don't think Belsh Belschnickel is good enough for the cube. I mean, I've played him multiple times. I like the card. I just don't think it's that good. Mana Tithe, Blink, and Avacyn. Huh. I'm just going to get Avacyn because it's just like one less card we need a removal spell for. And your hand is actually pretty bad. We can just play around Mana Tithe forever. And before we forget to play around Mana Tithe. That was a good one. That was a good draw. Oh, you know what? I'm game. <clears throat> two modes. Neg two, neg two. Cast. You and you discard. Let's discard a... Discard the finale, right? I want the lands. Metamorph seems good. We can get more lands, right? <laughs> Famous last words, right? Yeah, I'm going to get rid of a land here. I think Finale is just too good in the later game. Okay, so Blink or Mana Tithe. They don't have... I'm just going to take the Mana Tithe. <clears throat> Blink is obnoxious, but they don't have a second blue, so I'm not really too worried about it. Awkward. That's a good, that's a good blocker. We're going to do this because next turn we could potentially finale if we hit another land. So we know they played planes. Another hand is. Oh, now they can blink. So that's good. Should have let them keep mana tithe, I guess. Oh, well, interesting. Oh, uh, it can change the target of like one. I don't know. I don't know how that. It's it's kind of confusing. Uh, no, because this doesn't target. Phyrexian Metamorph doesn't target. Boom, 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 doo, 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 doo. I 
I mean, they could just bounce their... I think this is actually fine. Oh, it's actually cost more. Wait, we can't do that. We need one more land. I'm just going to pass here. Don't you need more mana? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay, so they played a plane. It's the only card we know about is Blink. So, land. Ultimate price. <coughs> sure. Let's see if they want Blink. Oh, wow. That was great. You're going to blink my Aetherborn boy. My Aether boy. Yeah, if you blink Brimaz, or, like, I just have to replay it. I can't recast it on Brimaz. Did you go to the mana store like I asked you to? Um, I did, but I only got... S I mean, like, I don't really know if I want more mana at this point. There's only two cards in my deck I can't cast right now. Sure, tap that guy down. You got it. And now, I need, now this has to be seven. Okay, well... Toughness X or less. Spells your opponent cost they cost two more to target this. So it's gonna cost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They could just block here, block here. Yeah. That's they don't have to trade though, they can just block with spell skite. And they can just kill the one one. Like it doesn't do anything. Alright. That's a yikes for me, dog. Land off the top. Oh, Jesus, God. Oh, God, we need to land off the top so bad right now. Just so badly. No, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh. Wow, we just lost this game because of that. Well, that was terrible. Okay, we just misclicked and lost that. 1-2 was not the record I was expecting with this deck. They would have redirected to Spellskite, but we would have gained enough life. No, actually, I don't think it would have mattered anyway. We were at 8, and they had 12. Like... Yeah, because even if we shoot the... If we shoot the Sublime Archangel, we just take a million. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, sorry about that. Um, like, we can shoot this, but then they still have four power on board, right? If we shoot this, they just redirect it to here. So then they still keep their 12. Like, we would have to actually shoot for, like, five? But then if they play any creature, we're dead. Still, we're not dead. And we have either We get Aetherborn, Gifted Aetherborn. I don't know. I just clicked the wrong one. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on CoolStuffInc.com. I had an article go up yesterday about four pretty sweet decks in Modern that are looking real interesting. And... Uh, you can also check me out at manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service, and you get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the promo code and the link in the description below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.